Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames, and in this video, we're gonna talk about, you know, Mel Gibson about to release his documentary, many people being truly afraid for him because, listen, he's about to expose a lot of things. He's about to expose Hollywood, the elite society, Ukraine, um, some words I have to be very careful with. So when I say a word that sounds weird, a bit funny, please read between the lines, okay? So he's basically about to, you know, expose child exploitation on a major level, not a minor level, on a major level, big time. And right now, you know, the people in journalism who believes, you know, in fighting and protecting kids, you know, exposing the corruption in society, those journalists have been making back-to-back -back videos appealing to the public to look out for these people to use the media and assault Mel Gibson. And I believe that they're going to do it because the reality is if you have been following my channel for quite some time, I have been exposing how the media, you know, assaults you consistently and we can use the lawsuits, the back-to-back -back lawsuits that they have against him, right? And you would see that lawsuit and think, yes, it's legit. Ye is wrong, and yes, they they should sue his ass. But if you have been paying attention, you would remember that Ye told us that this is how Ari Emanuel works and his, you know, <laughs> Jewish mafia. Not the real Jewish people. I'm talking about the mafia, right? And I have to say it as it was said, because they're saying that there are two groups of Jewish people, one that's about love, peace, unity, and another group that is involved in child, in child exploitation, yada, 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 right? Now, um, Ye told us that Ari Emanuel would be gathering people to sue him so that he ends up broke. And we have been seeing back-to-back -back lawsuits. They have been over 30 lawsuits within the past few months against Ye. Many of them doesn't even make sense. Many of them could not even, you know, reach through the legal system. They were just thrown out of court. But as it relates to Mel Gibson, right? Mel Gibson has been working on this documentary for quite a number of years. And the moment that, you know, it was leaked through the crux that he has evidence to a lot of things that he's coming with, they started attacking him. And that's when allegedly, you know, even though people may say it's a couple of years ago, that's when, you know, allegedly they started release recording of him saying this and all of that. But the reality is, and our focus should be, what he has to tell the world about these people in our society that are arming children. Because they're saying that this is a lucrative business. The child trafficking ring is a lucrative business that brings in over $24 billion dollars annually and whenever you hear you know people being exposed in that ring there's always religious leaders and politicians religious leaders and politicians are always involved not almost always always involved in every single case um we have people who are leaders of society who are highly involved in these cases so Many journalists at this point are imploring to people to, you know, when you see those articles coming out attacking him, do not be distracted. Keep your eyes fixed on that four-part documentary that Mel Gibson is about to release exposing the people involving in this, how these channels work, how they continue networking, and how kids goes read between the lines okay and that's all i have to share in this video um you guys might be asking when you can read about it do your own checks because guess what i believe that people should read for themselves um while it is good for you to provide all the information to your you know supporters i also love it when 
people can do their own research, leave a comment from what they have learned, and we all can learn something from it. That is what I believe should happen, okay? So guys, I just want to encourage you. It's very important. We need to protect our kids. There are too many nemesis, too many people, you know, that we think that you can trust, but you can't, all right? So we know that our children are our future, and anyone who tries to protect kids, they label them as a pedialyte, and they ruin their entire career. We need to fight against this. We need to keep our kids safe, and not just your kid, not just my child, every child deserves to be protected after all they didn't ask to be here and that's all i have to share in this video with you guys see you all next time bye guys